Hey guys, as many of you know already, a couple of years ago, my mom was killed in a car accident in Canyon City, Colorado, while we were there attending my brother's wedding. Well, last spring, I was able to finally go back to Canyon City for the first time in three and a half years. And while I was there, I decided to record what I was processing, the pain, the memory, the emotions that were coming back to me and to share it with you guys. So over the anniversary of my mom's death on November 6th, I decided that I would share two videos with you guys about what it was like to go back to Canyon City for the first time, to be there with the pain and yet the pleasure of my friends and the beauty surrounding the place. So without further ado, here's that video. Beautiful up here. Check it out. Nobody's up here. We don't get this in LA. It's beautiful. Colorado, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Also, one of the sites of the greatest pain. Now I could spend my life trying to stay away from Canyon City. We could spend our lives running away from the places and the people that have caused us pain. But, you know, I, I don't think I don't think that's the answer. If I think the key to a happy, fulfilled, satisfied life isn't the absence of pain or unpleasant circumstances, but in the embracing of it. Because I think it's when we step into the journey that God is taking us on, that He's creating for us, that we truly find satisfaction. So I think the best choice for us to make isn't to run, but to walk into it, to embrace it. The, the people who, who have the greatest capacity not only to grieve with others, but to rejoice are the people who have accepted the life, the adventure that God has given them and they've, they've embraced the pain, they've walked into the darkness. See, the sun is coming up over there. It's morning in Canyon City. And when the sun goes down behind me, it's tempting to try, when the darkness overcomes, it's tempting to try to chase the light, but actually, the quickest way to the sun, to the light, isn't to chase it west but to step into the darkness east. And I think it's the same for grief, for pain. When God allows that into our stories, it's to step into it and embrace it as the life and the calling that God has given you. Remembering, always remembering that heaven is so much greater than any pain that we'll experience here on earth. So why would I throw away heaven or get upset at the creator of heaven and all that is good for a momentary affliction here on earth?
the answer, I think, to relationships, church struggles, anything, isn't to run away from our pain. It's not to avoid those people that hurt us. It's not to avoid places that hold painful memory, but it's to embrace it and let God bring healing into our lives. Colorado is honestly one of the most beautiful places on earth, I think. But for me, these mountains, the, f the feel of this air, the dryness in the air hold some very painful memories for me. And I could either avoid it for the rest of my life, running around it, never visiting the friends I have here, or I could embrace the pain that it brings and enjoy the beauty that God has surrounded my place of pain with. Because that's the reality. No matter what your pain is, if it's relationships, if it's church, if it's death, if it's a broken home, whatever it is, it's very likely God has surrounded your area of pain with beauty and a reason to rejoice. Thank you.